Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Kristen, and you've stumbled into an unusual place where we hang out and do nails together. Today we're making a set inspired by the 2020 movie Spree, which quickly became one of my favorite movies of all time after I recently saw it. Before we get into it, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to see more. All the products that I'm using will be listed below in the description. Okay, so let's talk about this movie. So Spree is a comedy horror satire. It's fast paced, thrilling, clever, and hilarious at times. It was directed, co-written, and produced by Eugene Kotlirenko, who I'm not familiar with outside of this movie. I haven't seen any of his other stuff. And the star of the movie is Joe Keery, who most people would know from Stranger Things. Keery plays Kurt Kunkel, who's a cringy dude who yearns for an online following. He uploads regular content under his brand Kurt's World for years without ever gaining a following and rarely ever reaching quote-unquote double digits for views and likes. One day, Kurt has a brilliant idea that will for sure make his brand go viral. He's calling it The Lesson, and if we watch along with Kurt in his spree, we'll find out what the lesson entails. For anyone wondering, Spree is basically like a taxi service or an Uber service. That's what it's modeled after. So it's like he's live streaming from his Uber, basically, while he picks up, you know, clients, drives them around, talks to them, and teaches us about hashtag the lesson. If you've never heard of this movie or you've never seen it before, please go Look up where you can stream it. I had to buy it, actually. It's like the first movie I've bought in a really, really long time. But I loved it so much that I bought it and was able to get access to like the director's commentary and everything. And I'm such a big fan of this movie that I've watched it at least seven times. And I watched the director's commentary like twice. So yeah, we're not talking about, oh, I like this movie. No, I love, I love this movie. I'm obsessed with it. This first nail I'm doing is Kurt's Kurt's World logo. And this was definitely the hardest nail for me because I'm not uh, super used to doing small hand painted details and art like this. So yeah, I was basically holding my breath the whole time I did this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why I'm making this funny looking logo. I didn't end up doing the words Kurt's World on top of it because I ran out of space, but it still is fine. It's still good. I didn't have the right kind of yellow, which really sucked. I'm still kind of bummed about that. And I got that smudged. This logo was actually drawn by the actor Joe Keery, who plays Kurt. There's this opening montage where he draws his life, and this is part of it, and it just kind of like became the logo throughout the movie. Anytime I like watch interviews with either him or the director, you get a really good sense that like they worked very closely together and Joe Keery was super into this movie and just making it the best that it could be. Like to prepare for the role, he would spend hours driving around in either like Ubers or different ride shares to get a feel for what some of those interactions are like. And he also watched, I think him and the director watched like hours of cringe compilations uh, just to, you know, really nail that like that desperation, that cringiness, that, you know, wanting to please people, wanting to get the views and just doing whatever you think is what people want. And yeah, Joe Carey just totally nails his character. I wasn't like super into him because of Stranger Things. I don't really love that show. So he wasn't like a draw for me exactly. But after I saw it, I think really highly of him. He's a really great actor. He really nailed the slow descent into Kurt's unhinging. <laughs> This movie is definitely a critique on social influencers and just like influencer culture in general. 
the director says that it's a critique of that kind of like meshed with a critique on these like American guys who basically kill for attention. It's a fictional story, but it is kind of loosely modeled after this guy in the States who did do a series of uh, killings from his Uber, I believe. So yeah, there is unfortunately like a sad element of truth to this story. Okay, let's switch gears and talk about nails for a second. First, look how cute these press-ons are that I made. Adorable. They're like a tie-dye pastel, and then I use these water decals on top. I freaking love them. It's so cute, and it's nice to have short nails <laughs> for a change, a bit easier to do things. Y'all, I really went outside of my comfort zone with this set. I learned how to use a Cricut machine just so that I could do these nails. <laughs> Um, shout out to my mom who gave me her Cricut machine after she decided she didn't like it. So I'm really happy I can put it to good use doing nail stickers. I was also planning to make my own water decals for this set, but the water decal transfer paper stuff that I got was not as straightforward as I expected and I wasn't able to make it work out. So I had to totally scrap a lot of the ideas that I had for this and kind of simplify it. I did have two hands planned, but then I ended up only doing one. Doesn't that look nice after you peel away everything? So you're supposed to use this stuff called transfer tape, but I'm not that fancy. I don't really have a lot of Cricut supplies yet. So I just used packing tape and kind of put it on my clothes a few times to like dull the stickiness because I didn't want it so sticky that I couldn't get the letters off. So yeah, that's why it looks like I'm using a dirty piece of tape, because I am. <laughs> I'm so happy this worked out with the Cricut, because I thought for a moment that I was going to have to hand paint everything. But this was just so much easier, and it turned out so nice. It's so satisfying, you're going to see here in a second. I first watched this movie in July, like this July. And it came out in 2020, and I was seriously sleeping on it. I'm so mad at myself for not watching it sooner because it was in my watch list. I knew it was found footage. Anyway, <laughs> that was a big mistake on my end. I was sitting on a hidden gem the whole time. Because Spree is just this perfect mixture of things that I love. Found footage is my favorite subgenre. And I also love to both laugh and be scared. <laughs> so it was just like this, yeah, perfect mixture. And I love this movie. Like for me, it's 10 out of 10. It's a piece of art. And yeah, <laughs> I just hope other people like it as much as me. I know the two people I showed it to really liked it, but I want to know if other people are obsessed like I became. I just learned that. Joe Keery has been running the Kurtz World 96 Instagram handle since 2020, and he last posted on it in July. Oh, <laughs> by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I post there way more often. And I just love Instagram. I love using it and sharing there. So yeah, come follow me and also follow Kurt's World 96. <laughs> Why not, right? Oh my God. I just realized that like what I was doing, like plugging my Instagram and stuff is exactly the kind of thing that this movie is making fun of. Uh, <laughs> if you're like any kind of like person who posts stuff online, is like an influencer or whatever, like this will definitely resonate with you a lot. Uh, this nail that I'm working on that's going to say all eyes on me is inspired by the character of Jesse Adams, played by Sashir Zamata, who is a real life a comedian and actress. Jesse is the hero of the movie. And she's amazing. I love her so much. You really end up rooting for her. This movie doesn't glamorize the character of Kurt at all. It's really making fun of that character and of that type of person. 
So, you know, when Jesse comes in or she's introduced to the story, you are like kind of rooting more for her. And there is kind of like a tonal shift because like you like Kurt. He's killing people that are kind of annoying. <laughs> you don't really mind it. And then he does something to like hurt Jesse. And you're just like, no, you crossed a line, Kurt. You can't hurt Jesse. She's the best. I can't say enough good things about this movie. The casting is perfect. The editing and the pacing is on point. And the music is so dope. <laughs> Kurt would say it slaps. <laughs> the character of Kurt makes his own music, like his own techno mixes and stuff. And they just like play off that. The director said he wanted Kurt's music to be like bad, but he didn't want the soundtrack of the movie to be bad. So it's like this really good techno music that's kind of like on the verge of being too much. <laughs> anyway, it's brilliant. And it has this like really amazing energy to it that just like, yeah, it just keeps the energy going throughout like the whole movie, really. Back to the nails for a moment. I did make my own charms <laughs> specifically for this set. You can see the pure water bottles and a syringe. It doesn't really spoil the movie if you haven't seen it. That's something that's revealed very early on that maybe it's not pure water. <laughs> if you're interested in knowing how I made those charms or you want to do something like that yourself, please check out my last video. <laughs> I'm being a real Kurt again, but whatever. <laughs> Go check out that other video. I had also made a drill charm and a dash cam charm, which did not end up getting used, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of dash cam, I'm just going to throw this in. I'm going to shit on this other movie for a second because Spree came out in 2020 and dash cam came out in 2021. And I remember being way more hyped to see Dash Cam and I watched it right away. But now looking back, I'm realizing that Dash Cam wants to be Spree. Spree is everything that that movie wants to be and just couldn't do it. It even has like the real life comedian in it and a character um, happens to be that character is driving around, you know, live streaming from her car. And it's just like, OK, come on. Like, really? Anyway, Spree is literally a masterpiece in comparison. Going forward, I'm excited to make more nail slash movie content. I haven't totally figured out my footing in terms of, you know, is this a review? Is it a synopsis? Um, are there spoilers? <laughs> I don't think this one is a spoiler video. I hopefully didn't spoil anything for you. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Also, let me know down below if you like this idea of me doing nails, watching me make them, but kind of like focusing more on the movie and maybe some fun facts about the movie and stuff. Um, I would love the feedback just to like help myself grow and develop and everything. So, yep, yeah, please let me know down below. So I'm doing the top coat, which means the end is near. We're coming to the end of the video. And I just want to, you know, thank and give some appreciation to, you know, the people who have subscribed to my channel. I am just a small channel, very new. So like every person who clicks subscribe actually means so much to me. You know, I'm on the road to 100. <laughs> oh, that sounds so lame. I'm on my influencer bullshit again. But I am really just like grateful for anyone who's watching these videos. So thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, here's the finished set before I put them on. They look so good. I feel like they really captured the the vibe of Spree or like the look and aesthetic that I was going for. If I were to redo it, I think I would change a few things. But, you know, I tried a bunch of new things with this one. I made my own charms. I used the Cricut for the first time. 
So yeah, it was a lot of learning and I think they look really good on actually. So anyway, if you're still here, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're the best. I appreciate you. And I will see you all in the next one.